Hello, RPG friends. I thought I'd share with you today a, a cool craft uh, technique to make dungeon walls. I have seen this in use at uh, some local conventions here in North Texas, and I'll show you how you do it and how useful they are. So first off, um, what we have here are a bunch of uh, wooden bricks that look like dungeon walls, but they're short and it's easy to see over them. Uh, one issue I've had with some of the other uh, dungeon wall solutions is they tend to be too too tall, and you can't actually see the figures uh, if you're a player sitting across the table. So uh, ergonomically, they're not always the best. So uh, these are just about perfect. They're, uh, they're wood. They're lightweight. You can throw them around. You can quickly uh, construct buildings. Uh, so uh, and so t these figures right here, uh, it's about two figures... Uh, Y, which is a standard old school D and D width, uh, and that width is actually a brick's width apart. So you can use the brick kind of to uh, <clears throat> size how big the dungeon uh, tunnel should be. So really good, good for if you want ten foot squares. Uh, now, how in the world did we uh, come up with this? Uh, so first off, uh, you buy some of these. Uh, essentially, they're uh, Jenga bricks, uh, but they don't call them that. Uh, these are called tumbling tower game, but these are smaller. These are miniature. These are not the normal size. These are only about um, two inches long, just a little shy of two inches long, and they come in a brick stack. You can get them online. You have to search for them. So search on this brand, uh, tumbling tower game, and you should find them somewhere online. Uh, and then after you unpack them, uh, what you do is you spray paint them, and I'll just uh, grab a bag here that I'm of another batch I'm working on. So you just spray paint them black. So black, black bricks, that one needs a little touch up. Uh, and then after you've done that and you've got some nice black bricks, you get some craft glue. This is the brand I use, um, sort of a medium gray, uh, but whatever, whatever color that you like is fine. And then the next thing you do is you take those black bricks and you just take a paintbrush and just kind of paint them up real quick. Um, and uh, it's, it's good activity while you're listening to an audiobook or watching television. And, uh, and when you're done, you get these nifty bricks and they're super lightweight. You can, you can uh, tote them around, uh, fit in a bag real easily. They're not heavy like traditional dungeon walls. And I think they alert, work great. So, uh, oh, that guy got killed by an orc or something. We'll put him back up. Resurrected. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and you find this, uh, this technique useful.